Hello everyone, I'm very excited about today's project. We are going to be painting a beautiful mother and child piece using swipes and stencils. These techniques are so easy and fun. Let's get right into it. I had many requests for mother and a child, so that's what I'm going to do today. And I've got something exciting. New shape of canvases, the oval canvas. And they are roughly 30 by 40 centimeters or 12 by 16 inches. Oh, and then they are individually wrapped. Okay, so look at this. I thought this shape actually lends itself really nicely for a silhouette of a mum and a baby, doesn't it? So I found the silhouette. I actually kept it from the first lady of the series. You know, the mermaid, my autumn woman and spring woman. I think that's going to be perfect shape, to be honest. I'll trace the face and then I'm going to change the body slightly. Uh, if you don't have any stencils and I'm going to draw the child freehand, you can check online, look for some free images or you can actually utilize your own photo of yourself and your child, perhaps. I was trying to quickly sketch the child's head. I think I'll go with this one a bit bigger. And I'm just going to cut it out. Going on the reverse because that's how I want the stencil to be stuck. What I'm doing now is I'm cutting myself a template to use later on my stencil. And I want to be really, really careful around the facial features. They're actually pretty tiny. You want the child to be proportionate to his mom. Okay, so it's going to be something like this. Now I am drawing her face on the actual stencil that I'm going to stick to my canvas. And now the baby's face. I think I've decided she's not going to kiss the baby yet. She's just just getting very close to kiss him. I could have drawn freehand on this paper, but I find it easier tracing. When I have a stencil, I can actually position it in various places and check where I really want it to be. But there is no need. You can copy directly to frisket paper or tracing paper. Just like this. And now I actually decide about the rest of the body, how I want the hand to go. I'm imagining that she's holding the baby. So this part won't be seen. Just a little bit of a, her hand somewhere here. I've decided that she's got to have wavy hair since the baby's got little curls, so mummy's has got curly hair as well. Okay, that's it. Now, if we're going to cut a stencil uh, to pour inside the figure, all we are going to do is we are going to preserve the outside, the negative space. So I'm basically cutting them out and leaving all the rest. Just a little incision here. Ah, I can proceed. That that's, should be easy now. Okay, this part is not very exciting. That will take me probably 10 minutes. So you can have a cup of tea or coffee. And we'll come back once it's cut out. So that's it. Now I'm going to peel it off. Maybe I should stick it on in stages. Now you can see her and the baby. It's just one little section. So these are the last seconds to reposition any part that you don't like, you know, if you want to move it. But I'm happy now. I'm going to flip it over and stick it down. Use my AB Creative mug. <laughs> As you can see, it does adhere really nicely, but just in case, I'm going to do what I usually do with stencils. I will just touch up the edges with paint. It's not necessary, but I think it helps. So these are the colors we're going to be using today. We have titanium white, pearl electric blue, sky blue, paints gray, and ultramarine blue. I'm adding one drop of silicone into my white. This is just for the swipe. And I mix it really well. 
the consistency of the paint is really really important this is my consistency runs off the stick really smoothly very small build up and uh, so what did I add one part of paint to one part of water mix with PVA glue and then to that mix I add 20 or 30 percent of float or I actually don't measure anything and make sure that each paint is mixed the same way so they run off the same way that's really really important so I might be swiping with either paper towels just regular paper towel or my palette knife I'll see how it goes so first I'm applying a bit of white so the first thing I'll apply some white without silicone I actually don't want silicone just to the edge of her face and the baby's face as well I don't want the face to be covered with <laughs> spots if you know what I mean I'm just going to cover the area randomly this is going to be my predominant oops oh my goodness <laughs> I did not expect that it's going to be a swipe anyway now we've got this lighter color teal I would say comparing to the first one do you know when I use those lids from various cosmetic products actually once it's dry I can peel everything off and keep reusing them and reusing them okay what else do we have we've got this very light paints gray maybe not too much of this one this is the lightest blue I want plenty of this one on the baby's head I just want all the gaps to be filled up I think that might be enough what I will do I will just use my palette knife and I'll spread those paints a bit very gently I like the colors together I love blues my favorite favorite colors Now the white with silicone, just a section here. I have a bit of leftover, so that's that. Okay, swiping. I've decided, after all, I'm going to use the trusty napkins. Spraying them with water. And I'm actually going to keep the lady this way so I can maneuver easily. Dipping the napkin and then very gently. Swiping along. Wow, look at these beautiful cells. I like those cells so small and pretty. They look bigger and these are smaller. That's interesting. I, I think I like those small ones. So what I'm going to do now, since I messed it up a bit, I'm just going to add more paint and I'm going to swipe again just this section. Whoa, awesome! Wow, I love it. I'm glad actually there are no cells here. I'm really glad. Okay, let's do this part. just wanted some kind of a border between mum and the baby ok 
okay and with this part i'm actually going to cover it with some of the gray maybe even with some of the dark blue because there, sh there should be some kind of a shadow shouldn't it shouldn't be so dark i think i'm pretty happy at the moment cells are stunning interesting and some of them are bigger like these here but that's all right now there are two options you either wait till it's completely dry to peel it off or you may risk like i'm doing now and peel it once it's still wet uh, what's the advantage well it comes off easily and then if there's any mistake you can just wipe it off but generally i don't recommend it so Oh wow, not too bad, not too bad. It's just a little bit of touch up here. <laughs> I got all stuck to my hand. Yay. Okay, so let's clean it quickly. So I've got some Q-tips, a little bit of water. Okay, I should leave it now. And the swipe looks actually very, very nice very gentle so should be dry tomorrow well my cute family is dry and i really like it but i've got a dilemma i wish i could leave the white background because I, I kind of like it but i do realize that you can't see much the contours are not so visible and if it was on the wall it would be very difficult to see so i have to color the background somehow and then if i don't like it then i'll go dark and darker that's what i'll do so at the moment i have plenty of white here with a bit of blue i added light blue by liquitex i'm not sure why it looks so green to be honest maybe once i put it on the canvas it won't be it looks different doesn't it if it's too green i'm going to add a bit of uh oh no it actually doesn't look too bad I'm going to put some music on, have a cup of tea, and just enjoy painting. Bigger brush for bigger sections, and then I'm going to use a really small one for around the face. I'm not sure if it's too light, so I just I tried a, a bit of a darker value here, quite like this shade now. Once I actually got the silhouette of the lady with the baby and in white and with all the blues, I just couldn't stop thinking that they reminded me of something. And I was actually thinking of Wedgwood porcelain. If you, if you haven't seen it, they've got this amazing blue background. Just I'll show you some examples. You see, especially those medallions. So I made a poured Wedgwood. <laughs> I'm going to add some just very very faint shadows around the faces i want the bases to pop more tiny amount of just gray and small brush basically just going to touch up around the edges i've almost forgotten i was about to leave it and actually varnish but i know some of you would want some eyelashes so there they come Let's give the lady some eyelashes. I think that's the right place. And a little one, just a little one. I think that's it. I also have some perfect place for my signature, just here. I think that would look really nice in white. 
while I'm doing it, I'm thinking that perhaps some of you would like that, you know, in the baby's bedroom. And perhaps some of you would even like your own profile or your family's, your loved one's profile. I'm sure it's doable. It's absolutely doable. But for this, you would have to have a really good photo, you know, site photo. Now, I wish I actually have taken a picture of my boy like this. The very last stage for our creation. Some of you are asking me, what do I do before I varnish or add resin? I do clean it. If I ever use any silicone, even if I use one or two drops, I clean thoroughly. I just use soapy water and, and a sponge and just clean the painting. It's dry now and I'm going to use, I'm not going to use varnish or resin. I am going to use pouring medium on top. That's another way to sort of make it glossy and you can, once it's dry, you can clean it, you can wash it with a damp cloth, it's absolutely fine. It should be nice and shiny. I always think I will use a brush, but then in the end I just use a piece of plastic to spread it. So that's what I'm going to do now. I want to make sure I cover all the sections, you know, because part of it is a bit raised. There will be another layer once this one is dry. So tomorrow I can apply another layer. Kind of works similar to Minwax Polycrylic, I must say. And now let's take a look at the finished piece. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this piece. I'm very proud of it and I already have some ideas for another one in the series. If you enjoyed, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And if it's your first time watching, consider subscribing because I make a new video every week and I chat with my subscribers live every Saturday when they release. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.